Hi Pisces, this is going to be your weekly love reading. So this is what's going on here with you guys, okay? Remember, like, if this is not your energy, this is somebody's energy around you, um, or and you know who this person may be. But anywho, so it looks like there's a situation happening for you guys right now where you might be changing your mind about something or someone, right? Whether this is a, a change in your overall direction in your own life, this could be a change in direction in, in a relationship, right? Uh, it could be a change in anything, whatever this is. Some of you all, it's a physical move. But you're headed in a different direction, all right? Um, there's something here that's going to alter your path, okay? Spirit is altering your path somewhere better. I know you guys have been, like, going through it. It looks like you've been trying to work through some things in your life here. You've been going through some changes. You've been wrapping up cycles here because we have perseverance, right? And then we have diversion, Diversion. So it's like, and we have angelic help and justice. It's like you're getting your karmic justice after, and then after, underneath diversion is good luck and self love. So it looks like you guys have been like ending old cycles, closing out, wrapping up cycles with people in your life who just like aren't, they don't do it for you anymore for like whatever reason, right? No judgment here. I don't, you know, um, me personally, like. You know, I reevaluated a lot of relationships in my life, and um, any of you so like cl close out some old cycles. I'm tired of repeating cycles, and so I've been learning. I've been doing more self love, you know, stuff like that. And I feel like that's where you guys are with it, with this now. Like that's where you are in your life, and so you're doing the hard work, right? And it's like spirit wants you to worry less. Worry less about the end result. Okay, so this is also giving, like, control. Like, maybe you wanting to have more control over your future than you really need to be concerned about. Or you guys are, like, really worried about, like, well, hey, where is this relationship taking me? Or, like, where is this path taking me if I do this or I do that, right? Um, but your angels are really, like, bringing in karmic justice for you. Mm -hmm. even though you might feel like there's a detour and this has been so hard like it's not necessarily a detour right you know when they say rejection is projection I mean re pro rejection is protection I'm tripping <laughs> there's you know the scales are being balanced for you your angels are literally so you could be a Libra I mean I could be talking to anybody really here too this is definitely giving nine of wands energy with perseverance there is Leo Sagittarius energy okay um so you could be a fire sign and good luck is also Libra energy Sag um energy too and um but it's also the wheel energy because the wheel is good luck energy and that's fixed sign so you could be a Taurus you could be a um Cap Capricorn not Capricorn you could be a Taurus Scorpio, Aquarius, or Leo, but maybe those signs apply to you because I said I didn't say them for any reason. Um, but like the scales are being balanced, karma's coming to people who did you wrong in the past, right? Um, the scales are being balanced, and there will be justice for those who have wronged you in the past. Angelic help, your angels are relieving you of your burdens. You'll notice you'll begin to feel lighter. Your worries and fears will fade away, and then you'll be embracing your own inner breakthrough. Like, you're having your own inner break breakthrough, and you're doing this self-love, coming out of a period of stagnation, and you're like, the wheel is turning in your favor, basically. That's what this is. Show me more for the collective. All right. Yeah, you're breaking free from these cycles with these people. Like I said, like this is giving the world energy and the wheel of fortune energy. And so you're, uh oh, hold on. Yeah, you know, it looks like some of y'all are coming out of solitude. And here goes your angels have been here supporting you. If you didn't know that, during this whole time, your angels have been here. Some of you guys have been in hermit mode. Ask your angels for help. Yeah, it's weird saying, remember we said something about control earlier. It says go with the flow here. Go with the flow. Okay. Don't force it. Show me what else here. 
for the collective. What else is collecting me to know? Ooh, the hair fine. Okay. Taurus energy. Got some spiritual lifting. The devil in reverse. Capricorn energy. So somebody learning a spiritual lesson. Okay. You or someone around you is learning a spiritual lesson here. And like I said, um show me more here. This is good. Yeah, six of wands. Victory. Success. Moving forward. Coming out of the blockage. Or something. Or this could be somebody coming towards you too. Okay. Oh, okay. What's that? Those, there's your wheel. There's your wheel. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's that. You're manifesting something here. Um, everything that you put your mind to right now is going to work out for you. It's going to go real smoothly. You're going to feel like a weight lifted off your shoulders. The right people are going to come to you or being sent to you at the right time. Just keep going, okay? Because miracles are getting ready to happen for you. Something good. Oh. What's this? The Ace of Pentacles. So some of y'all, this is new, a new commitment, right? Or this is something that's going to offer longevity, stability, um, especially being here underneath the hair font. This is definitely something long term that's going to last, something that you'll be committed to. Now, for some of y'all, this could be a committed relationship to stability, security, five of pentacles, money's getting better. Money's getting better. Someone here could feel left out in the cold or abandoned right now or lonely. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Ooh. Oh, we gotta see what this King of Cups is. And then we have the Queen of Cups. So we have a divine pair. So for a lot of you all, this is a divine pair. Mm -hmm. And the two of you are looking at each other. So someone here, this could be somebody from the past, okay? Queen of Wands, the Chariot, the Death card, Three of Swords. For some of y'all... For some, some of y'all, this could be somebody new. And for some of y'all, this could be somebody who you know, who you detached from, right? You're trying to wrap up a cycle with this person. This person feels like abandoned by you, um, you know? And they want to come in and offer this cup of love here. Let's see, why does, let's clarify the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? The Knight of Wands. Ooh, somebody want to... I want to get freaky with you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. Ten of Cups. I mean... <clears throat> that's what I got from this. Let me lick you up and down. I don't know. You about to unexpectedly meet somebody. Also, too, side note, this is not for everybody, but somebody's house could be, like, blown up over some player behavior. I don't know. But that's not for everybody. Show me this King of Cups. Yeah, this is, so this could be somebody you know, Five of Cups. Regret, remorse. Regret, remorse. I want to be nosy. What's this regret and remorse about? King of Cups. What was that? Uh huh. New love. Either this person is afraid that you're moving on and finding new love, or this person's like, oh, why didn't I give the collective this offer? Whoa. Dang. I mean, for some of y'all, maybe this person sees you moving on to this new thing. And they are going to be sad and upset. <clears throat> and for some of y'all, you know, this is that person who wants, is in regret. They want to bring this cup of love to you. Okay. 
Why is the Queen of Cups here? Queen of Cups. Eight of Swords. Oh, okay. That came out upright and then it flipped in reverse. So that's good. Somebody's trying to get out of her head. Um, somebody's coming out of a mental stagnation um, about a Queen of Cups. Or this, or this could be kind of like Queen of Cups. Yeah, confusion. I feel like somebody's coming out of confusion about this Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. I have a Queen of Cups here. Yeah, ooh, look at this. The Ace of Wands. So now we have three Aces. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Ace of Wands. I mean, somebody definitely, like I said, I want to get freaky with you. Like, let me lick you up and down. See you say something. Mm. All right. Let me do. Okay, I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> Showing my age. Y'all remember that song? That's, uh, let's see. Ooh, somebody ran off on the plug, you guys. Something's going on here. Seven of Swords just fell out. Somebody could be sneaking away. This person could have been deceptive towards you. You may not trust them. You know, the past person, you don't trust the past person. Ooh. What? I don't know. Somebody could be trying to, like I said, sneak away. Clarify the Seven of Swords. This emperor. For some of y'all, this person is either sneaking away from work or sneaking away from a third party. And this person's committed to somebody else. Mm. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Or this emperor is just planning this quietly. Or they see you quietly at work. That definitely could be the case here. If it's just, if it's a new person. <clears throat> Clarify this uh, Seven of Swords. Justice. Yeah, this is karmic justice. So this is good. Okay, so like, if this person, past person lied to you in the past, there's the karmic justice, right? Because, you, you know, earlier spirits, like, yeah, you're going to get your justice. Maybe this person is getting a divorce. Maybe this person is getting a divorce and they haven't told you. They're getting a divorce. If this is a new person, um, this could be your karmic justice thing. And this person has been quietly watching you at work. Or like somehow, some way you work with this person. Or they're like a mutual group of friends or a mutual group or something. And this person sees you. And they've kind of been like watching you. And they're very attracted to you. All right. Mm. Clarify the three. No, clarify this emperor. Why is the emperor here? The high priestess. Yeah, they're secretly watching you. Pisces energy. Or they're secretly getting a divorce. What's the secret? Show me the secret, sir. What's the high priestess? What is the secret? That they have a family or they're getting a divorce. Or they're, or they're watching you and they have um, at work. Look what's on the bottom of the deck, the Eight of Pentacles. <clears throat> For some of you all, this person isn't saying anything to you because they have, they're well, pretty well off. Like this person has, they have money. You know what I'm saying? They have money. I'm, I'm talking about this new person. Um, anywho. Let me see what other deck I want to use. Let's use the Island Time deck and see what else. This is a good reading for you guys. Seduction, the chaser. Yeah, remember I said earlier there's a person here who's like, I want to get freaky with you. They're about to chase after you. <laughs> I like you on the bottom of the deck. I mean, it, you could be captivating the new person and the old person. You know which one resonates, you know. <clears throat> a mirror. Okay, maybe the two of you are very similar or you do two similar things for work. 
This could also be someone here where there's just a twin flame dynamic because we have the chaser here and then we have the mirror here. Twin flame energy too. And you know that makes total sense with the mirror because we know twin flames mirror each other, right? And there's always a runner chaser dynamic. And then here's your king and queen of cups. Just so you know, could be dealing with the twin flame. <clears throat> Show me what else here for the collective. Ascending. Somebody's going through spiritual ascension. Didn't I say learning a spiritual lesson earlier for this devil in reverse of this hair of fire? Right? Remember that? We have ascending. Transcending obstacles. A learning expansion, new phase, preparing for union. And I think, you know, your angels have been helping someone, right, to bring this karmic justice. You, you were rerouted. Somebody's being rerouted somewhere. And the outcome is going to be good. Somebody's choosing themselves. And they're getting this good luck. They're healing. They're coming out of this stagnation. <clears throat> right? And this is the person who's in this Five of Cups energy. Where's that Five of Cups? Remember? I'm just pulling off the bottom of the deck here. Just show you. Like, it came out in the tarot, too. There's the Abundance card. Like I said, you know, somebody, either this new person has money, the one that's been, like, slowly watching you, and they've been kind of quiet because in the past people, like... They've maybe been used for money before or something here is the energy that's giving. Or maybe this person just hasn't talked to you because then you work with each other and maybe ethically there's something there. Um, that's why they don't approach you or why they haven't approached you. Yeah, look, Cupid's arrow. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. But has, and this also says hesitation hesitation like I said this person is like I feel like this new person is hesitating and even the um <clears throat> for your past person that's in regret they're hesitating too right the confusion show me more here all right um cassette look at that six of cups energy Somebody's really, really thinking about you quite a bit. Just two minutes, spirit. Give me one card at a time, please. So we have Aries energy here, Libra energy here, Capricorn, Taurus. And uh, then we have with the wheel is fixed sign energy. So that's Aquarius, that's Taurus, that's Leo, that's Scorpio. So you ended something, <clears throat> okay, so the new person, this person's definitely thinking about you, okay, but there's an opportunity, the past person is thinking about you. Um, and you recently ended it with this person, okay, somebody's going to be taking their mask off, the person, if somebody's not showing their true feelings. This person may think that you have other options. That could be another reason why they haven't approached you. There is definitely someone here that you ended things with, though. This past person, I feel like, you know, they were in devil energy at one point, and now they're coming out of that devil energy. So they were like, you know, maybe third-party energy here. Everybody's story is going to be different. Um, <clears throat> there was definitely, like, some inner child wounds, some internal conflict, some confusion, and some healing that needed to take place. Um, yeah. What's the advice here? Let's get your advice and then we'll end the reading. What's the advice here for the collective? Oh, happiness. New discoveries that lead to celebrations. Love yourself first. Continue to be in that self-love energy. Okay? Continue to do what's best for you, right? Um, remember we saw that self-love card? Oh, twin flame. Oh my gosh. A spiritual connection between you and your twin flame. Happiness. Somebody wants happiness. I'm telling y'all. Now, maybe your new person could be your twin, right? But I don't think the new person is your twin. Uh, I don't. 
The twin energy came out with the person who's in this five of cups energy. Ooh, so y'all might have a new beginning and a new start. Yeah, your angels are coming together and supporting you. For those of you who are on a twin flame journey, your angels are coming together to support you and your twin to come to they actually want the two of you to be together, but in order for that to happen, you know what has to happen. This healing has to happen. The self-love has to happen. It seems like to me somebody is definitely getting ready to break free. They've been spending some spending some time alone thinking. You know, the, the, in this Seven of Cups energy. But the good thing is they're coming out of the Eight of Swords energy. They're coming out of the confusion. So that's good. And they're realizing some things. Well, dang. That was a good reading, you guys. I love you. Hit the like button and, and make sure that you subscribe to the channel.